Uh, this is a little video of the machine. All right, we're gonna we know the machine already. I'm gonna show you how to run the system, the Allen Bradley, the Panel View 300, the screen. Once you turn on the machine, all right. Now this is the panel, the screen you're gonna see, and you wait for the initialization. And after that, I will show you the screen what to do. It's pretty simple. Just wait. All right, now you're gonna see C1, C2, C3, and then these are the heaters. That's what you can see, upper heater one. And then, all right, now what you do, you can just go you see where it says, uh, uh, if you notice, you're going to see uh, one square box, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those ten correspond to the F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, all the way to F8. Now, to access the main screen, what you need to do, you just, this is number seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The main screen is 7, therefore you go and press F7. F7 gives you the upper heater, a pull count, timers. What you need to do, you're going to program your timer. So you go to F3, which is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. If you go to F3, I will give you the timers. You press it, it says TZO, T1, T2. TZO, this, what it is, is like TZO is the heating time. T1 is... Uh, T1 is the bottom plate and delay, and T3 is a bottom plate and timer. As you can see, T1, I don't put any delay on the bottom plate. You can just check the book. It will refer uh, to the timers. It will tell you which is which. Now, if you want, let's say you want to change uh, T2 or, or T0, which is a heating time, for example. What you do, you go to F1. You press F1. You prop this and then what you do you just enter your number let's see you want to enter uh, 24 seconds you press 2 and 5 that's 25 seconds and then you press enter and then that will give you 25 seconds as your heating time TZ, T1 if you want to put delay at the bottom plate then you do the same thing you go to F2, F3, F4 and then refer to the book they will tell you which is which so you know what it is. Now, once you're done with that, if you see the timer two screen, you can go because you're gonna go, you go up to seven now. You can go T18, 19, you go to F7. F7, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the number two screen. If you press F7, it, now you have T10, T11, T12, T13, T14, and et cetera. And then uh, that's what you program it. Any uh, screen timer you want to access, you go to F1, F2, whatever corresponds to that square box. That's what you choose so in order to get your, your timer. And now you can go back to the main screen. Now when you're going to program the heaters, let's go to the main screen, which is F8. That's what it says, F8. It gives you upper heater. Uh, let's say you want to check the upper heater and then you want to program your heaters because there's a percentage timers, the upper heaters. You go to F1. F1 will give you C1 is 19%, uh, percent, C2 is 70, C3 is uh, 70, and then once you program it, that's your the first bank because remember there's 12, there are 12 banks for the upper heaters. Now, this is upper heater one. That's what you're looking at, upper heater one. Now, if you want to go to upper heater two, you go back to F8 again. That will give you the second bank. It says, now it's C7, C8, C9, and then you enter whatever number you want to enter. And then after that, let's, let's change C7 to 55, for example. I check C7, I know it's F, if C1, it corresponds to F1. All right, now I'm going to change you to 57. 57, enter. Now C7 is 57%. And you keep on going like this. 
now this is now upper heater one now you're going to program the bottom heater now you go to the main screen which is f7 f7 give you the main screen now it says lower heater which is you're going to check take f8 now again f8 as the lower heater is going to give you lower heater one heater is one and then you're gonna program it let's see c1 that's the first bank you check the book it will tell you which is which you go to c1 i'm gonna change c1 to to 60 c1 it correspond to f1 f1 i'm gonna put six zero enter now c1 is 60 percent now you c2 c3 c4 and then after that when you finish programming this thing what you do you go back to the main screen again which is f7 F7 gives you that, and then you see upper heater, you know that already. Now you want to go back to your timers, you go to F3 because this is box 1, 2, 3, which is 1, 2, 3. F3 gives you now, remember, T0, T1, these are the timers. That's what you keep on doing. And then uh, now there's a little catch I want you to know. It's about the fan. Uh, when you check the book, uh, the book will tell you about. Uh, uh, from, for example, for T11, T11 is mold cooling timer. What it does, uh, you, if, if let's say you're running an aluminum mold, and then you start the machine, when the frame moves into the oven, travel to the oven, while it's in the oven, if you put time on T11, the fan will go on. I'm going to run the machine and then to show you what I'm talking about in this video. Uh, the fan will go on to cool off the, uh, the mold and then as soon as the frame return the fan will stop Now that's that's the fan you're gonna see the fan will be on for the first time Or you can set it to zero if you're not running on aluminum mold where you want to cool it And you want it to get to hot to hot. So what you do all right now the fan at the end of the cycle You want to cool off now T which is T12 T12, when you check the book, it will tell you T12 is a part cooling timer. Now, the way it works, T12 works in connection with T1. T it works in connection with T1. T1 is the bottom plat. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, T2. T2 is the bottom plat and delay. Uh, what am I saying? T2 is the bottom plate and up. It tells you how long the lower platen will remain in the up position. Now this, the fan, the cooling timer, the pot cooling, works in connection with T2. The reason they do it like that, when you go to T12, T12 is going to give you a number, but it's a delay. That's what it is. It's a delay. You want the fan to go on when you want the fan to go on after uh, 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 the vacuum is uh, 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 after vacuum is off vacuum timer when vacuum timer is off this is now you want to turn on your fan this is the way it works if you set your timer uh, T2 which is the bottom platen up for 20 seconds when the vacuum is off you're going to have time remaining keep the bottom platen up as soon as the vacuum is off the fan will go on to cool your pot. Now it works in connection with the vacuum uh, vacuum timer because as soon as vacuum is off, the fan will go on. I will show it to you on the video while it's running. I just wanted to tell you that. Now let's go to T12. So uh, T12 in the screen two timer. Two screen which is F7 let's go to F7 all right if you notice T12 is 10 seconds I put 10 seconds on that uh, it's, it's a delay that's what it is but it's not the time the fan will be on the amount of time the fan will remain on depends on T2 the bottom platen because you don't want the bottom platen to drop and then you're, you're cooling your pot, you're going to deform the pot. You want the bottom platen to remain in the up position while you're cooling the pot. You can extend it uh, uh, whatever time you want, depending on the pot. If it is something very thin or some material will hold the heat, 
you want you want it longer and then it's it's up to you but the book will explain it to you but i want to give you that little video so you understand what is going on and uh, i'm gonna run i'm gonna take a video of the machine all right let's see what i'm talking about now okay I'm gonna start the machine. I mean, you understand uh, 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 those panel already. This you probably understand, but the book will tell you all about it. Okay, and uh, clamp. You know, to unclamp, you press this button. This is unclamp. You unclamp. To clamp, you have to use two hands because that is for safety. My video is a little crazy, but I'm gonna show you. you have to use two hands for clapping. You clap, okay. Now you press start. Clap them over to the oven, and then right now I didn't have the fan on the cooling part. As you can see, the fan is off. But I'm gonna show it a second shot, and then I will show it to you what I'm talking about. Okay, it's heating, heating, because I put some time in it. Now the frame returns. The top plate goes down, the bottom is up, and vacuum is on. Okay, okay, what it returns, the fan now is on. It will remain on because, as you, as you notice, the bottom platen is still up. Okay, that's blow off right there. We put blow, a little time for blow off. Okay, now that's the end of the cycle. Okay, that's one. Now I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. Like the, I'm gonna put some times on T uh, eleven. Because I show you what I mean, the difference between the two. And then T11 is F2. I'm gonna give it a little time. Let's see, I put six seconds. Enter. All right. Now I, you're gonna see. Now I'm gonna run the machine again. I'm gonna show you what I was talking about. Uh, uh, mole cooling. You see? Right now, the fan is on. It's on while the frame is in the oven. And now it turns off because I had it only for six seconds. Okay. Now the frame will return to forming station. Return to forming station. All right. Okay, so the vacuum is on now. Return. Now, that's cooling pot. It's cooling the pot now. Okay, blow off is on. Alright, and return as the end of the cycle. All right, I'm gonna turn the vacuum on so you can actually see what I'm talking about. There's a gauge. I can catch the gauge. Where is it? Yeah, that's the gauge right there. Okay, we're gonna take one more shot again. Start the cooling. The mold fan is on. That is, of course, if you choose that option. And stop, you know, and then soon it will return. Return. Out on top. Vacuum is on. That vacuum you hear. Return again. Now that's pot cooling timer. Fan is on. I'll blow off on. 
and then we turn at the end of the cycle. So that's the machine, and then I'm gonna write things down for you so you can understand the the screen better, how to operate it, how to program your machine. But it's pretty simple. But anyway, I'm gonna write everything down, and then uh, that's it. So everything is fine. That's the machine.